When we're talking about deploying any type of application, we got to have a bunch of clients in front of us. We got to have a bunch of logins. We got to have a bunch of portals open. We're talking registries. We're talking source control. We're talking Argo CD's GUI. We're talking a ton of different clients. We're talking our CI CD GUI, bunch of different stuff. Point being is just to deploy an application, there are multiple pieces that go with it. Why? Because there are multiple tools. And here's the thing, we're not gonna get away from that because we need different tools. There's gonna be a CI CD tool. There's gonna be a GitOps tool. There's gonna be all these different tools. But what we can do is we can put them in one place. One, not two, one. Put them in one place. That way we have an easy way to deploy, see what's going on, get events, get logs, get errors see end to end what's happening. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that in DevTron. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do here is I wanna to go to my global configurations and we're gonna see a few different pieces here. The first, projects. Now you're gonna to want to add a new project and this is pretty straightforward. Just give your project a name, maybe test, okay? Now the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to add a git account now notice here how i have one pointing to my personal github and i have a few different pieces of information here the first i have the name of it that i'm going to give it next the url following that is the username so this is the username that i used to log into github and then a personal access token right here or a password or you can put it as anonymous and anonymous would work if there is no type of authentication necessary. So for example, if it's a public repo. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to specify your container registry. Now, this is going to be an OCI, so an Open Container Initiative compliant registry. And we have a few different options here, ECR, Docker, Azure, GCP's artifact registry, Quay and any others if maybe you're building something internally, okay? Now, I would say the easiest to probably use is Docker Hub because Docker Hub is free, but if you have a cloud-based one like ECR or Azure's ACR, that's totally fine as well. Now, regardless of what option you choose, notice here how the inputs are pretty much more or less the same. You're gonna have the name of the registry, the URL, the username to log into the registry, and then the password or the token. And then you have a few different options where you can push the container image, use it as a chart repository. So for example, if you wanna put Helm charts, and then of course you can set it to the default registry if you'd like. So with those three things in place, what we can do is we can start to deploy our application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create custom app and we have a few different options here. We can deploy from the chart store, which is Helm charts. We can deploy a job. So a job is typically something that, you know, is automatically executed or runs once and that's pretty much it. Or we can do a custom app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type Go Web API and I'm gonna use my Go Web API for this. And that's just an application that I have on GitHub and you can use it as well if you'd like. All right, so if I just go to my GitHub here and I go to repositories, you can show Go Web API, and you can click on that. And this is a public repo, so again, you can use it if you'd like. So then I'm gonna choose what project I wanna use. So I'm gonna say Web API, and I'm gonna click Create App. Now at this point, we have a couple of different things that we have to go through to get our application ready to be deployed. So the first thing is, I'm gonna choose my Git account, Admin Turn DevOps and I'm gonna specify my URL here to my web API. All right, so that's the fully qualified path to the Go Web API. And I'm gonna click Save. All right, the next thing that we're gonna to have to do is the build configuration. So my web API has a Docker file and it's gonna ultimately build a container image. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna specify a repo that I have in my admin turn DevOps GitHub org and it's admin turn DevOps slash go web one. All right. Next thing I can do is choose how I want my container image to be built. And I got a few different options. Docker file, which I actually do have one 
right here so we won't have to build it or anything. The next option is Devtron will create the Docker file for us or we can use a build pack and a cloud native build pack essentially gives you the ability to build a container image without having a Docker file. All right, but we got a Docker file, so we're good to go. Now I'm gonna click save next or save and next rather. And then I have some information here about my app. If I wanna input things like the port, resources for CPU and memory, how much the port needs or how much the app needs. And then I'll click save next again. And then now we come to the workflow editor. So the workflow editor is what we're gonna to use to actually depart, deploy our application. This is gonna be the pipeline. So I'm going to click on new workflow, build and deploy from source code. And then the branch is going to be, I believe, master on this one. Yep. And then I'm going to click on create pipeline. Okay, cool. So now we have this workflow editor here and it's a pretty simple workflow. Pull in our GoWeb API from source control. Here's the build process. And we can see all of our information here from the container registry to the Docker file that's being built to the branch that it's using. Exit out of that. And then I'm gonna go to build and deploy. Select that. As we can see, this was the correct one because this is all of the history from that Git repo. And we can click start build here. Now, this is of course going to take, you know, a couple minutes because it's going to build a container image, et cetera. So we'll go ahead and we'll wait for this to complete. And as we can see, I kicked it off at 2.31 and it ended at 2.37, so six minutes. Not bad for everything that it had to do. Notice here how it had to build the entire container image, then it pushed that container image to the container registry for us. So this was the full build process of our container image utilizing Devtron. And this had everything right in house. I didn't have to go to GitHub Actions or you know any other CICD platform. I didn't have to go to the Docker registry. I didn't have to go anywhere except right to Devtron because everything is ultimately under one roof.